Hello there again, friends. Today is 1-3-2022, and this is Odin Vlog Project Day 30. Um, today we're getting started on the next section, uh, picking up where we left off. Uh, the second white section here that says some random information, and there's four cards with some subtext underneath. Um, and we'll be uh, building out the HTML structure for this today. So this um, probably won't be a, a long video. Um, the HTML is fairly straightforward to to get through. Uh, I feel like, for me anyway, in explaining things, the um, the CSS is a lot more involved. Um, so tonight should be pretty pretty simple, straightforward. So without further ado, let's hit it, hit up the text editor. So <coughs> excuse me. So uh, here's where we start. Here's where we left off. So we had, we're starting right here with a new div, and I, my theme is I'm calling things dash wrapper, and there's a reason for that. I'm probably using the the term wrapper inappropriately, but basically anything that says wrapper is me uh, basically talking about containers. <laughs> Man. Tret's a little intense tonight, so pardon me. Um, so I'm using this here as called the wrapper, and basically it, it's what it sounds like. It's all the stuff contained inside of this white band, if you will. Um, and so I probably could call it container, but I chose wrapper because, as you'll see, my next div class I called card container. So um, just just talking talking through that with you here so I have an h2 header called JB technology services and that is let's see if I can do alt tab well, let's be yeah I'll speed it up so that <coughs> is this right here again we're not doing we're not doing CSS tonight so nothing's gonna be styled yet I'm just showing you what it what it's gonna look like um, structurally so there's and then there's a class container and a card container and then inside the card container there are four class called card classes called card that let's say that five times fast <laughs> and inside each of the cards there is a image which is called class has its own class name which is basically unique to each one um, not sure I need to do at this point but again this is all open to change but this is what I ended with today and then the source is where it's located and then the alternative text for the screen reader and then a P element inside of each card class which is if you guys remember P is just paragraph and it's they're all called card subtext to keep things simple because um, as you'll see here all the subtext is basically the same um, it's gonna have the same font weight font type styling and all that so I figured there wasn't really any sense in me going through and calling these different ones and same thing with the card uh, replication of that name for that class because you can see all these are going to be the exact same curvature size weight padding margin is going to be the same so um, it, it'll all be when we CSS it will we'll, we'll, we'll do most of our CSS at the uh, container level anyway so it doesn't really matter at this point I don't see any point in differentiating that out either and then there's a, a P so going back to our P element there's application development and a, another P element for office deployment another P element for full network deployment and another P element for consulting all within their own cards um, card class and that brings me to what I currently have which is right here this right here so again no styling tonight we're just getting it on the page uh, styling will be for next time so there's there's my title uh, JB technology services that's that H2 heading that we just went over H2 <coughs> right there and then you have there's application development which describes what's here and then there's the picture of the office deployment and there's a description of it I might add to it but this is just to get things in place uh, I may not but and then full network deployment is right there 
and consulting, which is right there. So there's that in a nutshell. Um, again, we're kind of keeping it simple and sweet. Um, and then here appears what we've worked on. This is the completed top uh, hero header dash hero dash section uh, or wrap, wrapper, excuse me. And this has got the header in it and then the hero section here um, all set up and ready to go. So next time on the next video, we'll be working on formulate, formulating the wrapper uh, that we created um, called the uh, clock cards dash wrapper. And that will basically turn this and uh, morph it into the sexy end product of this right here. So that'll be the goal. For, for tomorrow anyway. So today's goal is just getting it on the page. So now that I have spent, uh, we got a little extra time tonight, um, I do want to remind everybody to make sure you're doing your git commits and your git pushes. So if we do a git status, we can see where we're sitting. So we have modified files and images that have not been queued up yet. So let's go ahead and do that together, how shall we? So we're going to git add we're going to do them one at a time so we can um, write comments on them. And again, if I'm doing this inappropriately, please comment uh, down below in the comments and let me know uh, a better way. But I'm going to do a git add index to add the, and I'm just get status to see. Okay, uh, green is good, this is what we want to see. So now we're going to do git commit dash m and then quotes we're going to say what what we want it to say and i'm just going to say um uh, created divs and structure uh for the cards wrapper section create divs and structure for the cards cards wrapper section is that what I called it yeah cards wrapper section okay cool and quote okay and get status okay we got <coughs> we got images uh, I think I'm gonna do let's put do a get push to get that other get that commit up on github I was say why? Why did it? <laughs> it's like did something just get jacked up? All right, let's check to make sure that got up there just fine. Yep, three two seconds to go. Created divs and structure for the cards uh, cards wrapper section. Okay. Um, now what I want to do is I want to go back and I I'm gonna try something here live with you guys. So pardon me if I um, stutter through this a little bit, but I'm going to. Do a git status, and I'm going to do a git add period. I think it'll add all those images at once because I don't really need to do individual. They're all going, as you can see, they're all going to the images folder, and they're simply those four cards that I just showed you. That I call them the cards, but the images that'll go in that section. So there's no, they're all doing the same thing. So they all, f for all intents and purposes, can get the same description, the commit description. So. I think this works. Let's see if I do get status. Perfect. Perfect. Boom. All right. So git commit dash m quote. And we'll just say uh, upload um, four image files for for the cards, uh, cards of wrapper section of the page. Ah, good enough. And quote. Boom. Okay. And four files changed. Okay. Okay, so I should just be able to do um, git up or git push 
I should push those all at once. Let's see, did it do it? Cool. Upload upload four image files for the card wrapper section of the page. Perfect. Look at that. Cool. It worked. There card, card, same description, card, card. Cool. Alright. Probably use could use a little bit better grammar on that, but <laughs> You guys get the point. My internet's uh, acting a little strange here. Um, anyway, so that's that. And I'm going to keep this short tonight. So I run 10 minutes. So uh, I'll give you a second to take a second peek at this if you'd like. So this is what we added today. And tomorrow I will be writing, going back over here to the CSS and writing CSS against this so to make it look good so that's gonna be it and lots of uh, I know this seemed like it took about five minutes but I, honestly there's a lot of background work uh, I had to go and find the find the image mostly it's the image stuff I had to go find the image I had to crop it I had to export it uh, modify it export it change the uh, modify the extension to JPEG after I edited it so yeah there's a lot of prep work that goes into it uh, I cropped it down to f uh, I think it was 500 pixels on width and auto and height and that just gets them plopped in here um, get some plopped in here I'm gonna make them smaller obviously cuz I'm gonna make them I'm gonna make them look like this when I'm done said and done so I'll pre be adding some uh, probably some height and width uh, parameters in my CSS tomorrow. So uh, with that said, um, hope you guys enjoyed tonight uh, or today, excuse me, wherever you are in the world and you came along with me on the journey. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your comments and feedback in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. And um, I, I really enjoy doing this and I'm learning a lot along with you guys as well. So uh, that's just it's uh, it's just all around awesome um, and I got to answer some really great feedback and comments that you guys have so so keep them coming and until next time see ya